Diet and exercise have been largely left out of health care legislation. There are provisions for cancer screenings and the like, but wellness advocates say they're missing the point. Unfortunately, in the bills that are currently coming out of the committees, there isn't a lot of emphasis on wellness programs. What they call prevention isn't really prevention. In a clinical study of men diagnosed with prostate cancer, Dr. Dean Ornish prescribed a vegan diet, moderate exercise, and stress management. After 90 days without drugs or surgery, the men showed no signs of cancer. Proof, Ornish says, wellness works. We tend to think that it has to be something really high-tech and expensive to be powerful. And what we've done in our studies is to use these very high-tech, expensive, state-of-the-art measures to prove how powerful these very simple and low-tech and low-cost interventions can be and how quickly they make you feel better. The cost savings are going to come through prevention of disease, and we know that from early studies already. Experts say nearly 75% of the $2 trillion spent on health care in the U.S. last year went to treating heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. Research clearly shows lifestyle changes can greatly reduce, even eliminate, a significant portion of those costs. But little is being done at the federal level to encourage or pay for wellness. People who think, well, medicine is about pills and surgery and, you know, discipline and things like that are missing uh, a good piece of the pie. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And while Congress may not have caught on, Private companies have. Yahoo, IBM, and Safeway all offer wellness options to their employees, shaving 10 to 20 percent off corporate insurance premiums and keeping their workers a lot healthier.